Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to find the middle term of a binomial expansion. Okay, let us consider the two algebraic identities. The first one is a plus b whole square. So the expansion is uh, the expansion of this one is a square positive 2ab positive b square. Okay, let's consider uh, another algebraic identity that is a plus b whole cube. That is a cube positive 3a square b positive 3ab square positive b cube. Okay, so here if you consider the first algebraic identity, we have a binomial with the exponent 2. So on the right side, we have the expansion of the binomial and it contains three terms. If your binomial is having an exponent 2, its expansion contains three terms. If you go to the second algebraic identity, we have again a binomial a positive b and it is having an exponent 3. So on the right side, its expansion contains four terms. So from this, we have a logic. If your binomial has the exponent 2, its expansion contains three terms. If a binomial has the exponent, th exponent 3, it, its expansion contains four terms. So in the same logic, if your binomial has the exponent n, then its expansion will contain how many terms? Very simple, n plus 1 terms. So the number of terms in the expansion of a binomial will be 1 more than the exponent. If the exponent is 2, then the number of terms in the expansion will be 3. If the exponent is 3, then the number of terms in the expansion will be 4. Now, let's see how to find the middle term of a binomial expansion. Okay, consider uh, a binomial 2x plus 3 to the power of 10. Okay, now we have a question. So, which term is the middle term in the expansion of this binomial? So, to get the middle term, what we need to do is first we have to find the number of terms we have in the expansion of this binomial. So, look at the exponent of this binomial that is 10. Then the number of terms will be n plus 1. That is uh, whatever exponent we have, uh, we have to add 1 to it, which is 11. So, we have 11 terms in the expansion of this binomial. Now, to get the middle term, you have to add 1 to the number of terms. 11 plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, let's simplify this one. That is 12 by 2. Finally, it is 6 to term. So, among the 11 terms in the expansion, 6 to term is the middle term. So, if you want to find the middle term of a binomial expansion, first, you must know the number of terms in the expansion. It's very simple. You just add 1 to the exponent, whatever value you are getting. So, that stands for the number of terms. To find the middle term, just add 1 to the number of terms and divide by 2 and whatever number you are getting. So, that, that represents the term which one is the middle of the expansion. Okay, now let's look at another example x negative 5 to the power of 13. Okay, now I just want to find the middle term of this, uh, of the expansion of this binomial. So, as I told you earlier, first I have to find the number of terms. So, number of terms is equal to uh, 13 plus 1. That is, we have to add 1 to the exponent. Then, the expansion of this binomial uh, will contain 14 terms. Okay, now, to get the middle term, we have to add 1 to the number of terms. Number of terms is 14. 14 plus 1 divided by 2. So, you have to add 1 to the number of terms and divide by 2. So, 14 plus 1 is 15 over 2. So, when you divide 15 by 2, it will be 7.5th term. Here, we have a question. So, it's not an integer, it's a decimal. How can I take 7.5th term? Either I can take 7th term or 8th term. So, how can I take a term which is uh, in between 7th term and 8th term? So, whenever we get a decimal like this, 7.5. So, when you find the middle term of a binomial expansion, uh, if you get this value as a decimal, always it will be the exact middle value of uh, any two numbers. Like, for example, in this case, 
uh, 7.5 is the exact middle value of 7th value and 8th value. So in this case, you will have two middle terms. One is 7th term and other one is 8th term because 7.5 is the exact middle value of the two values, 7th uh, value and 8th value. So uh, here in this example, we have two middle terms. One is 7th term and other one is 8th term. I think uh, everyone can understand this. Thank you.